I'm Ana Catarina Silva, and as presented, uh, uh, and I'll be uh, presenting um, this uh, paper uh, written with uh, Professor uh, Maria Manuel Borges. Um, it is um, entitled Hybrid Publishing Design Methods for Technical Books. This presentation will be um, will be uh, divided in five stages. First, the scope, uh, after the goals, the design of technical books, fixed and reflowable uh, program, and some final conclusions. As for the scope of this uh, paper, um, the starting point was the definition of the technical books and its publishing field. Looking into its formal structures, we try to make an analysis of how technical books function today and how they are designed. Uh, and how they are designed, we thought to characterize the um, the program and the design method methodology of a technical book in a hybrid context, and the possible models in terms of production, distribution, and uh, reading. The technical book, uh, shortly, <laughs> is according to the book dictionary, uh, one whose content is ca characterized by issues related to science and its practical applications. And this is a type of book with a variable quality of contents um, that imply an exigent hierarchy of elements, include extensive reading uh, text areas, as well as infographics, illustrations, tables, photography, uh, among others. These characteristics imply a careful structural planning of the project, of the design project, uh, of the editorial project, uh, investigating all text and images before starting the design phase. Beyond this um, diversity of content and form, the editorial uh, context of the technical book is also unique. Some of its content uh, are characterized by how fast they are uh, out of date and therefore uh, they need uh, to be reviewed. And this also needs to leads to several uh, reprints uh, and this is something that the editing processes supported by the new information communication uh, technologies respond to effectively. Uh, and in addition, um, the market for this type of book is also a changing market, uh, more receptive to consuming um, information in, on digital platforms, uh, as shown by Gustavo Cardoso and uh, in our paper as well. The hybrid context that we refer to is uh, fits uh, within the universe of the printed book with uh, traditional publishing processes and the universe of the ebook aimed at uh, electronic reading devices. It uh, concerns the editorial processes that at times may alter um, the direction of its flow and adapt to different um, modes of production, such as the offset or the digital printing, uh, or may result in final objects um, of different natures, such as the electronic or the printed. The, the purpose of this paper uh, is to provide the characterization of the editorial design methods of technical books in a hybrid publishing context. We have identified an urgent need to adapt the strategies of editorial design to technologies, communication processes and existing information flows. Um, physical characteristics of the book, as well as the text, the legibility, the intelligibility, are aspects that influence uh, the, communica the communicative uh, function, but whose meani meaning and eff effectiveness are largely dependent on design issues, on formal issues as well. They are built on typography, text area, and the layout. And the literature we consulted during the inv this investigation allowed us to confirm that not only graphic design has not been able to, to adapt and to fulfill all these new uh, demands uh, of this new environment, but also the interfaces and platforms need to be made more accessible and to include some principles of user-centered design. The design of technical books, print and electronic, this is our uh, main starting, first starting point. Um, Within the disciplines of, of the subjects of graphic design, editorial design is perhaps the one that remained the more conservative. 
uh, and more devoted to the functional purpose, uh, to its original purpose of design. Um, not only because books are and printing are great contributors for the construction of a theoretical body of, of knowledge um, of, of design and graphic production, but also because the codex in its modern configuration has remained virtually unchanged for five centuries uh, due to its degree of functional and aesthetic optimization. Nonetheless, when we look uh, into the e-book scenery, these issues aren't yet as optimized as they are in print. Um, according to, to a joint information system committee report, electronic reading platforms, and I quote, are far from re re ideal and in some cases barely serviceable. And today we can still witness such problems. Um, so it seems fair to say that designing the future of digital media, but particularly of the ebook, is a very demanding task. However, there are some fields of knowledge that, uh, that graphic design can benefit from, um, such as the adoption of some key concepts originating in the interaction design areas. Um, a report of uh, the Reflection Committee on the e-book provided by Bruno Patino lists a few that can help improve uh, the experiences of new book designs for the electronic environment, such as mobility, interoperability, access, connection, interactivity, optimization of information. Um, so graphic designer will need to find these new tools, adapt the existing ones as well, in order to create the best book experience, whether printed or electronic. A book project traditionally includes the following steps, in broadly speaking. The def first, the definition of the design program, uh, the conceptualization and the design, finally. In what regards step one, uh, and on the one hand it's necessary to maintain um, a holistic practice, but on the other hand, the latest updates in the industry uh, models inform us that the way to frame the problem should also be different. It should focus on content. Mark Bolton says that content needs to be structured and structuring alters your content. Designing alters content. It's not content then design, nor uh, content or design, it's content and design. And this is a, ver uh, a very um, uh, key idea uh, for this study. You can create, he says, uh, you can create good experiences without knowing the content. What you can't do is create good experiences without knowing your content structure. What is your content made from, not what your content is, is an important in in distinction. A change like this necessarily affects the steps of conceptualization and design. And this transformation is all the more urgent as the editorial processes can become more hybrid. So the e-text distributed online, accessible via computer, tablet, smartphone, uh, e-readers, bring a new variable to this equation. The already flexible workflow, uh, but only in a printed uh, world, will now be a hybrid one as the final product can be printed or electronic or both. And both have its orgi origin in a digital file, although the way this digital information will be mediated by the various players in the book supply chain, chain will shape the book and its use. This underlines the thesis that uh, content and um, design and structure, sorry, are the keywords to uh, the design program of um, a technical book. And now the question uh, that we, we put is, what does this represent specifically in terms of design, a fixed model or a flowable model? When we mention a fixed book design program, we mean a model where um, the layout uh, is conditioned by graphic standards involving fixed proportions of the elements with, regards to, with regard to the typographic palette, a uh, set of images, as well as tables, notes, paratextual elements, etc. This is strongly connected to the printed paradigm uh, and the ebooks that digitally replicate this form model, formal model. The field guide to the fixed layout for ebooks 2014 
published by the book industry, um, the book industry study group, sorry, states that this type of layout is almost always appropriate for children's picture book, manga, comics, graphic novels, where the stories happen in a very, very close coordination between text and image, uh, making use of the page's limits and ratio, and uh, which in turn can itself um, uh, can act uh, as, as a significant unit. Uh, in s if this information is split, the narrative gets lost and the book stops working. Uh, another situation prone to this type of graphical approach are the books with a complex structure in terms of design with many illustrations or indexed uh, graphics, difficult to restructure and reorganize in different contexts. Here we can see the, some, uh, some kinds of technical books that we approach. Uh, such are the, ca the cases of some densely illustrated textbooks as well, or art books. Craig, Bo uh, Craig Mood uh, refers to this type of layout as a definite, uh, definite content and definite layout. Um, as for the reflowable model, model uh, or formless, as Craig Mood illustrates, it's a process in which the layout is flexible. There is a certain aesthetic conceptual organization of the page, but this does not determine a fixed position of the elements. Thus, proportions vary, as well as typographic palette, images, notes, paratextual uh, elements, tables, uh, and their formal relations. One way of controlling the variability of the printed contents and creating the necessary constraints so that the book is, in the end, a homogeneous graphic object is the use of grids. However, you can also fit the grid concept in the digital scenery. It is um, also not necessary to use the proper tools and the most appropriate procedures. Uh, in the case of the reflowable model, EPUB is the standard for electronic books. In the case of fixed model, PDF uh, so far. In short, in, uh, through a fixed model, we guarantee uh, that the content works, but only in a particular medium. Uh, for book content to fu function in more than one support fluidly, but maintaining the original relationship between graphic elements, there should be defined rules and a protected uh, structure that functions in all the possible co uh, contexts. When we interviewed Ron Bildo, uh, editorial designer at O'Reilly, uh, he stated that depending on the degree of uh, complexity and importance of the different content in the digital product, the books can act at, as uh, EPUB or, or MOBI, an HTML-based um, uh, format used by Amazon for, for its Kindle reading devices, or uh, as apps, as independent applications. He defended, however, that most, uh, most of the books should be capable of functioning as EPUB or, or MOBI, even the technical books that we approach here, as one stable and interoperable product across devices. An important starting point for this research was, was indeed the, the technical publications of O'Reilly uh, O'Reilly Media, and O'Reilly has already a very consistent hybrid workflow um, using a publishing tool chain that takes advantage of, uh, and I quote, uh, more efficient and more lightweight workflow for book creation, which is XHTML5. Uh, well, HTML5 very briefly combines the HTML, um, XHTML5, uh, sorry, XHTML combines the HTML markup language with, with the rules of uh, XML. And this uh, language uh, has uh, proved to be very, very promising in the recent years. In, in it's nowadays a uh, big uh, subject in the, the discussion of new workflows for the publishing industry. It is a very versatile markup language that can integrate into different channels, ranging from print, ebook, PDF, HTML, apps, or probably every any other output that the future may bring. Nowadays, O'Reilly works with Atlas, 
um, a next generation publishing platform for authoring, editing book content, designing templates for that content, one key click publishing to both print and digital output, so it ranges all the, the different steps of the publishing uh, chain. Um, and to, to, to end this presentation, uh, we'd just like to state that in a hybrid workflow, it is necessary to redefine the book design program in order to identify not what the content is, but what the content is made of. To do this, one needs to consider as well the relationships between technologies, markets and types of content. And with regard to the technical book, it's necessary to understand its publishing fields and its very unique specificity. Sorry. For book content to function in more than one support fluidly but maintaining the original relationships between graphic elements, there should be defined rules and a protected structure that functions in all the different possible contexts. To do so, standardized process and formats should be used, such as those developed by the International Digital Publishing Forum or agreed upon usage due to its popularity uh, that make the most universal, universal possible book either printed or electronic. Thank you very much.